been a special season for Wasco baseball. The Tigers advanced to the D4 section finals for the first time since 1993. That was the senior year for their now head coach, Jeffrey Weedle, who says the key to all that success this year, playing hard until the final out. Never more true than today, but we start in the first inning. A nice web gem dive there by Chandler Paul. But in the fifth, the Eagles have a 2-1 lead with the bases loaded. Isaiah Baez with a shot in the hole at second. 4-1 fireball at that point in the eighth. They look to add another one, but watch the perfect relay here executed from Paul to Lalo Barraza. They get the out at the plate and take that momentum into the bottom of the inning when they trail 4-1. Bases loaded, but down to their final strike. Dominic Martinez with the single that keeps them alive. One run scores, but watch the chaos on the base pass. The runner caught in between second and third. The catcher has him out, but somehow able to get back to second base safely. That would set the stage for Lala Barraza, our former athlete of the week. The kid, the situation every kid dreams about. Base is loaded. He comes through in the clutch with a three-run double that gives Wasco the 5-4 lead in the bottom of the frame. Martinez sets him down one, two, three. The Tigers stun fireball for their first Valley title since 1990. We'll hear from Lalo on that approach at the plate, but first, here's Coach Weedle on that never give up attitude. Lalo was coming up, he was in the hole, and I told him, I said, you're gonna get it done right now. I said, you're gonna get an opportunity, sit on your pitch and drive it. Man, did he ever. The grit of this team, the never give up, the tenacity of from, from one to 22 on the roster, these guys just never gave up, and they, they believed that we would get it done. I was just trying to help my team win. I was going to do anything if I had to wear it in the face. I was going to do it. If I was going to have to roll over and beat out a single, I was going to do anything to get on base to keep us going. It was just to get the next batter out, <laughs> and uh, we did it. Highland playing in the D3 final after a three-run first. They keep the pressure on in the second. Cade Sakamoto, the pitcher, advancing to third on the wild pitch. He would take home, leaping over the catcher on the wild one there. Six-nothing Scots after two, but the Panthers battle back. Ridke Carranza driving in two here. Suddenly, just a three-run game, and that brings the tying run to the plate. But Chase Morales gets the strikeout to end the threat pumped up there and in the seventh he would take that momentum going a delayed reaction here as he gets the strike up but Highland hangs on for the first baseball valley title in school history oh that was so sweet that was the best feeling of my life right there I've never been that excited my voice is almost gone I it was just excited I was just so pumped that we've been trying for four years just working our butts off to get this and we finally accomplished it, it was something very really special well, quickly to Fresno State, Independence softball looking for their Valley title. In the second inning, Ariana Egan with the ground ball that gets through. The Falcons take the lead there 2-1, and they would keep the pedal down as they hang on for the 11-5 win. Get this, Kern County teams 3-0 today against the Central Valley as all three teams playing for the title. Hang on to get the win. Brandon, it does not get better than that. What a day for local sports. Awesome stuff. stuff. I still can't believe that Wasco game was nuts. Yeah, absolutely.